This is my prayer for those. That is the sound of family and friends banding together in remembrance of Maria Isabel Vasquez Jimenez. The 17-year-old farmer died in May 2008 from heat stroke after working in the blazing sun for nine hours. She was not given water or a break in the shade while working at a vineyard in San Joaquin County. Patty Aviles of United Farm Workers describes her last day. Supervisors took no action, not calling the ambulance, not calling an emergency vehicle, instead putting her in the back of a sweltering van. Jimenez was two months pregnant at the time. She was taken to the hospital two hours later with a body temperature of 108 degrees. But at that point, it was too late. She died two days later. Her death has sparked a campaign for justice. Farm workers must be empowered to organize and have a voice in the fight for their rights. The owner and safety coordinator for Merced Farm Labor, the company that hired Jimenez, are facing charges of involuntary manslaughter. Merced Farm Labor has said in the past that Jimenez wasn't doing strenuous work on the day she died and that her fiancé refused the company's offer to call a doctor. The United Farm Workers are opposing a plea bargain for the defendants because it would let them off with probation, community service, and fines. And we appeal to the judge to, to uh, overturn this settlement and oppose the four-year sentence, which is the minimum uh, that people deserve. The UFW has held a number of protests since Jimenez died. In one, they carried two wooden coffins for 50 miles. At today's vigil, Rabbi Stephen Jacobs prayed that the protest would help shed light on the inhumane treatment of farm workers. And we will not be silent. The defendants will receive their sentencing tomorrow. Tanner Keith, Annenberg Radio News.